Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4, What's Upon Horror Story, Episode 4, aka Episode Zoe. And previously, like going back to the last part, Episode Kane, um, I never explained to you, <laughs> I feel so stupid, I never explained why he would have wanted to kill, um, Serenity. Well, here's the basic gist of it. He and Zoe were dating, but then Serenity was kind of a bitch, as we all have come to know. And Serenity started sleeping with Kane, and then Zoe found out. And so, yeah, he, I guess she, like, Serenity, like, ruined his chance at, like, love with Zoe or something. And then, also, Serenity was kind of a bitch to Zoe. Like, like, all these, like, backhanded compliments and, like, passive-aggressive jabs and, like, Kane really loved Zoe, so, yeah, that really made him mad. But, anyways, we're starting right here. I was going to fast forward until, like, 10 or 11 o'clock and start there. Because in this episode, this is Zoe's episode, but also we are <clears throat> um, having a charity ball. Which I thought, you know, why not have a few events in here? So, there's going to be a charity ball. But, before I could fast forward... Scott Betancourt called us and said, Hey, I can't get you out of my mind lately. Want to go on a date? And he's engaged. I'd like that to be noted. He is engaged. But I'm going to say sure. Because, let's be honest, Zoe and Scott, you'll see in their relationship bars, they've always had a romance for each other. She never acted on it, of course, when she was dating, um... Kane, but it was there. She always has kind of had a... She's always, like, held a torch for Scott Betancourt. And I think he's always kind of had a torch for her, too. But this is Zoe's outfit. It's very cute. And let me just go through her things. She wants to have a successful lineage. She is unemployed, but actually she works at this restaurant. <laughs> She's a waitress. Um, I also... I gave her a waitress outfit for her second everyday outfit. I gave her a waitress outfit. And these are her skills, you know, six in parenting, one in cooking. Like, she doesn't have that many skills, but these are her relationships. See, there's her thing with Kane. Here's her thing with Scott. Um, with Serenity, she really didn't like Serenity. Um, her sister Rebecca, her brother-in-law Colby, um... Her daughter, Marisol. Yes, that is Zoe's child. That's Marisol Rose. Zoe Rose, right here. Hot-headed, family-oriented, domestic, and self-assured. And, yeah. And then, here's her daughter. And her daughter is Angelic. And there's her skills. And then, here is Rebecca. She's in her sleepwear. She also does not have a career. She wants to have a big, happy family. And these are her relationships. This is her husband. Yeah, because she's Rebecca Olsen now. She is Zoe's sister. And the reason Zoe doesn't have any parents in either of the versions of this story is because her parents died and Rebecca basically raised her. But then there's Colby. And then here's his thing. His thing with Serenity. I never said it for this timeline. Because 2014 and 2017 are two different saves. And so I never said it. I never bothered to say it because it's not that important in this timeline. But he is a detective. And he wants to be a bodybuilder. And the reason he became a detective is because he, he always wanted to solve Serenity's murder. But he is romantic, bro, hot-headed, and high metabolism. Did I say Rebecca's traits? I think I did. Family-oriented, booty, good, and domestic. But yeah. So here we are. Hello, Scott. Lovely to see you. Um, get to know. Um, ask about day. You know, we're just gonna ask. You know, we're, he's our friend. Um, I don't know what to do. This is so awkward. Um, boast about your family. But yeah, who else is, is there anybody else here? Um, nobody important. So that's always good. Nobody important. 
Oh. I saw that correctly, right? Scott hates children. Oh, God. Um, okay. That's a bit awkward, considering I have a child. Um, Scott is a businessman. Um, I'm sure she probably already knew that. This is probably why they would have never worked out. It's because she's family oriented and he hates children. <laughs> Which is sad. Uh, they could have they could have uh that's my OTP for this for this series. It's Scott Bettencourt and Zoe Rose. Tell them an engaging story. Express your admiration for helping Helena and her sisters. Um, what else? Sibawam! <gasps> Have a deep conversation with him. I don't know, I just always thought that these two would be really cute together. And it's kind of like those people that just want right for each other. Oh, look, somebody we know, Eloise Perez. Yeah, she is... Oh my god, why is she out with Alexandra Avalos? You two hate each other. Um... I never set that relationship, but they hate each other. You, Eloise, you married Alexandra's ex-husband. Um, after you had an affair with Alexandra's ex-husband. And that is, this is actually, um, Carly's mother and Veronica's mother. It's really weird. It's very, very strange. Very, very strange. But we should probably go get a table. Um, I want one, like, over here, so we're just gonna move it over here, and then take this off, and then take these off, because it makes better for pictures if you're near a window and by the corner. So, request the table. Well, I don't know if it makes for better pictures, but I like to have them, like, in the corner next to a window. I think it's cinematic. <laughs> so, request that table. And, um, I don't need your needs to be all crappy, because I need you to deal with yourself. And, okay. So, I don't know why you have a flirty vibe, Zoe, but, like, he is engaged, and you're not a hoe. Your ex-boyfriend might be a hoe, but you are not a hoe. So, order for table. <clears throat> and... We will reveal reveal later, probably at the charity ball, why um, Zoe would have a need to kill um, Serenity. But um, we are going to have a cafe latte. No, actually, we're going to have a root beer float, you know? And then he's going to have a black coffee. And what else? Um... We're going to pretend that he's paying because he invited me. I would have never invited him. Like, let's be honest. Out of all the friends I would have invited, Scott Bedencourt is probably on the last of the list. So we are going to have something non-expensive. It's like 10 a.m. So we're going to have some pancakes, and he is going to have something more expensive because, I don't know, he just seems like he'd order something expensive. He is going to have, I don't know, um, not dessert. He's going to have some French toast. So, yes, we have our orders. Oh, I never set her phone, her phone, did I? No, dark green. I always forget to do that, but, like, I like to set the phone screen. Well, the phone covers, and Zoe's color i created her with having her wearing green in mind it was weird i was like she needs a color scheme hey i heard you became friends with jackson sanford he's pretty cool um eh, he's okay jackson he's pretty okay i guess <clears throat> scott i need you to not you weren't engaged to helena zoe scott you two need to chill Anybody, has anybody else walked in? Is anybody else sitting outside? No. <clears throat> That's always good. I'm legitimately, like, afraid that Helena Livingston is gonna walk in 
and try to fight me or something because she she gonna be like you stealing my man and I'm gonna be like no I'm just out to like I think I think this would be brunch I'm out to like brunch with him Elena chill these two like I'm sorry I know you guys probably aren't attached to them but Zoe Rose and Scott Betancourt ugh if only he didn't hate children. <laughs> hey, I heard you became friends with, oh, thank God, Nicholas Betancourt. He's pretty cool. Yeah, Helena. I'm not out to, I'm not out to brunch. And Zoe does feel guilty. Zoe does feel guilty because she knows just as well as anybody else that she and Scott had, like, it was, like, the greatest love story never told. I like to say. They were the greatest love story. Scott and Zoe were the greatest love story that was never told. Because they were probably very in love. It's just they didn't get a chance to do all that stuff because of circumstances that they probably did indeed create themselves. <clears throat> if you don't see where I'm going, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. He hates children. She is family oriented. She also has a child, ahem, hit, hit, nudge, nudge, whose father is one of the teens, and out of the two options, hit, hit, nudge, nudge, this seems the more dramatic of them. Hit, hit, nudge, nudge, it will be revealed at the charity ball. But this, because the charity ball's tonight, probably at around five or six, and this is really... In case you didn't get it, um, Scott Betancourt is Marisol's father. Scott Betancourt and Zoe Rhodes. Here's what happened. So, at the lake house, back in 2014, on their spring break trip, um, Serenity was sexing it up with Kane, and then Zoe walks in, is really appalled, and then goes in the other room. Scott comforts her, and then they have sex. And then, so, it is later revealed, because Serenity dies that night, it is later revealed that, um, my girl Zoe is pregnant. And so, she talks to Scott about it, but he's like, I don't really, like, it's like a hypothetical, because he doesn't know she's pregnant. And he does not know that she was ever pregnant. He has no idea. And so, she is like, hmm. And he, like, mentions how he doesn't want children. And so, she decides to hide it. She pretty much stays here in Windenburg while everybody else goes off to do bigger and better things. I feel like she's probably, she and Helena probably stayed. And, well, I don't know. I feel like Helena might have stayed part-time because of her sisters, but, like, Zoe's the only one that stayed full-time. She never left. And Scott did. And Zoe kept it a secret. No one knows who the father of her baby is. She is not in the mood to tell. And I think after this, seeing how well he's, I guess, acclimated to having children in his life, seeing as he took in, I feel like this really is like a shot to her heart. Is like he when he got when he got with Helena, she and her little siblings, who probably are like six or seven or something, they moved in, and that's really like a shot to Zoe's heart, because he didn't want to have children with Zoe, but, like, he was willing to take in Helena's little siblings, who, which was, which is basically kind of like their parenting, um, Haruka and Rize, and that's a shot to Zoe's heart. Like, it's really sad for her, but, like, she's also hoping that maybe he'll change, he's changed, and then, like, he'll want to have a relationship with their daughter. And Zoe, she's, she's so in love. Like, it's so sad. She's so in love with Scott Betancourt. It's sad at this point. Like, it's so sad. And, like, we'll discuss this in Scott's episode on whether... Because Scott's episode is next. Scott's episode is episode 5 with the wedding. But that's why they're all back in town. It's for the wedding. And 
Is this Gia Pereira? Anyways, we'll be discussing in his episode um, his feelings towards Zoe and Helena and all them. Is this Antonio Perez? I love how all the parents... I have seen literally almost all of the parents. I've seen Gia Perino. I've seen Antonio Perez. I've seen Alexander Avalos. I've seen Eloise. Um, no. Don't do that. I'm end and pale. So, you're dead. So, we can go home now. Go here. And we're probably... Where's Scott? Um, Scott... Oh my god, fine. Just go here together. And we'll say our goodbyes. Can you stop cackling? Because it's really irritating. And I don't know if you're trying to sing, or if, like, there is, like, or if you have, like, meningitis or something, but, like, you need to chill. Lorraine Davies. But, um, we're gonna go just hug Scott goodbye. We are going to... Where's Hug? We're gonna hug him goodbye if he'll even hug me. Are we friends enough for you to for me to hug you? Oh, bye. Guess not. Scott. Ugh. Scott Betancourt frustrates me when it comes to Zoe Rhodes. He makes sound decisions unless it comes to Zoe Rhodes. Zoe Rhodes, I think she clouds like his train of thought because I feel like he's probably out of the group. He was probably the smartest one when it came to common sense, but, like, when it comes to Zoe Rhodes, it's like, he has no common sense. He has no, I don't know, I don't know what, what the word is to describe it, but he has none of it, and it's awful, and it's sad, because she's Zoe, and she's probably my favorite character out of all of them. I think probably it's Zoe, and then maybe Helena, but... Yeah, this is where they were. They were in Newcrest, and this is where she works, the 50s diner. But we're going to go home now, and then we're going to get ready, you know, spend time with our child, get ready for the charity ball, and then we will go attend the charity ball. Because, like, Zoe, the wheels are spinning... She's trying to work up some courage. She's going to make an announcement at that charity ball. And heads will roll. Lives will be upended. She's going to... This news is going to start some things. And it's crazy. But that's just life. And sometimes we have to confess our secrets that we've kept for the past three years. But... Might as well do it now. So we are actually going to change. The charity ball is going to start early. But this is our charity ball outfit. And in case you hadn't seen my banner, Zoe's on it in this outfit. Probably wearing this exact same makeup. Because Zoe, I, tr I decide, like with the banner or whatever, I've decided that I want to change it every few months. And include some of the main characters of my LPs. And I was going to do someone on the Decades Challenge instead of Zoe, because this is a really short series. But, like, the Decades Challenge, nobody really fit. Like, they can't really dress in the attire that, like, I would have wanted them to for the thumbnail. And I feel like if you, if they weren't in their historically accurate attire, you probably wouldn't know who it was. Aw, I love Zoe. Like, the poses she strikes. I love it. I love it. Zoe's my favorite. <laughs> I don't know why, though. Because, like, I don't know. She really doesn't do a lot special, but, like, she has a lot of crap happen to her in life. Oh, I don't need to do that. I need to throw a party. Um, so we're gonna pretend that this is, like, a Betancourt event. Because, like, let's be honest. Zoe is not gonna throw a charity ball. Because, like... She, she's the one, she's the person that needs the charity ball to be thrown. She's the charity. Um, but we're gonna do, um, dinner party? No. A house party? We could throw a wedding and have it not be prestige and just 
Oh, I can't. You have to be engaged. Um, we can throw a funeral. No. Is anything like I want to wear? I want them to wear their formal events. So we're gonna do a house party. Wait, can you throw a house party at a vent like a community venue? Gia, Veronica, you, 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 you. Okay, um, we're gonna take off you, put on you, and then we're gonna take off Julie because she's sad to put in you. So we have our people. No entertainer, no caterer, whatever. I don't care. I'm just trying to test this out. And... Um, no. Oh, crap. Um, a birthday party, maybe? I want them, I want it to be, like, a, a party where they wear their formal wear. So I feel like funeral is what we're gonna have to do. So funeral. You, you, you. Guess. You, you, you. You, 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 you. You, you, you. You, you. You, 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 and you. Guess, oh, um, I guess, oh yeah, I forgot, Julie doesn't want to go. Um, so Robin, a minister, fine. Um, entertainer, mixologist, actually, we're gonna actually have all of those things. Actually, we're just gonna have a mixologist. And can the charity ballroom lounge, thank you, and I actually built this. It's not very good, but it's basically just a square. It is, no, a rectangle. It's like a rectangle. It's a big rectangular room. But it's pretty, and it has bathrooms and all that. <laughs> I don't know. I built this like two weeks ago because I was like planning out the episodes. I'm like, what are we going to do to fill up Zoe's episode? But then again, I realized that we were 22 minutes in, and we... Oh my god, I forgot to fix everybody's formal wear. No, no, you're not sad. You're not sad. None of you are sad. No one's dead. Um, this is sad. But I built this. This is the charity ballroom. And I need to actually replace this with a podium. Because I don't want Zoe to sing. When she makes her speech, I want her to speak. So, is it under, like, hobbies and skills? I want the, um, the city living thing, where you can make speeches, but I don't know where that is. Actually, let me just be like, hmm. Show all. Show all, please. Sims 4. We only have two minutes left in this episode, because I started it early, because I wanted to go to brunch. So we're probably just gonna let this go for another ten minutes. Because, like, I got to have my revelations, or else it's not as impactful, and the whole point of this episode is lost. So, no, that's not it. Like this, but like the regular version. Is there like a regular version of that? Um... I just want a regular version of this, like, podium thing. Um, but I guess I won't get that. So, here we are. Um, we'll just pretend that the Bible is not there. And that this is just like... Oh, there it is. Here it is. Perfect. No, I need to put it put her in the center because she's Zoe Rhodes so yes I don't care so everybody let's just walk in um actually let me just go fill these things so fill this fountain with chocolate um fill this fountain with cheese um serve all serve all serve all fill this fountain with fruit punch we're just gonna 
we got to get things going. And, yeah. So, is anybody going to walk in? Stop looking all sad. It's depressing. Why does nobody want to show up to my parties? Like, it's honestly sad. No one ever shows up to my parties. Um. Oh, my God. Um. Hire a DJ headliner. Hire a pianist. Hire a guitarist. Um, is this Elena? You actually do look like you're about to attend a funeral. And there's Scott. Where are the other mains? Um, Eloise. Um, the mains are not here. The mains, I hate this. Oh, there they are. This is also, I was trying to build, like, this was like a pre-version of the ballroom. But there's Carly and Kane, I think. But where's Veronica and Aiden and all the other rich people? I do my best, but like the parties I throw in The Sims, they never end up going well. Is this Veronica? There's Veronica. Um, I guess. So, can, please, can we? Oh my god, this is just sad. Okay, turn that off. Turn this off, Zoe. So, we're just gonna pretend everybody is seated. And we're gonna give our speech. Um, I'd like you to move, Jesse. Sarpava yo. Onis Ravuda Kidam. Yasmis Koibam. So, everybody is just real confused. I just wish I could just throw a formal party. Delete the stupid moodlet. I hate. This, like, I don't, I didn't know. Oh my god. Yukari's the minister? Oh my god. Oh my god. She's dead and she's the, Helena's dead mother is the minister. I really should have fixed everybody's form of wear. Veronica, are you the mixologist? Veronica's the one making drinks. Oh my god, this is just. <laughs> Um, we're gonna have you go try to hug him lovingly. Because here Marisol goes. Zoe has just announced to the entire town that Scott is the father. And so Marisol's like, Dad, go, Marisol. Oh, hello, Carly. I love your outfit. Don't see where. Oh, there's Aiden. Where's Kane? So everybody, the mains are here. The guests have arrived. But here we are. So go hug this child. Not you, Alexandra. So, um... Hug him lovingly. No, you're not gonna starve to death. Aww! That was so cute! Um... So, Zoe gave a successful speech. That means nobody hates her. And Scott understands because he remembers their conversation. And she got a... She had to do what she had to do, you know? She didn't know what to do. She was 17. She really did not know what to do. She's, like, 20 now. Like, she does not know what to do. She, like, this is, like, a conversation beyond... Her thing and so we're kind of gonna argue a bit we're gonna argue about children and then we're gonna argue about his parenting because it's like Scott Badencourt you the boy who said you never wanted children you now want to judge my parenting skills oh um, these two are being nice I guess can you turn around and face me Stop. Oh, oh, um, I'm gonna try to get Alexandra out of the picture. Um, I don't think I'll do very well at it. No, okay. 
this way. And so they're looking really sad. And I feel like that's probably why she was looking extra sad at the funeral. And she was like standing near Scott looking at him like she was extra sad. But this has kind of been a bust of a party. But that's because I didn't plan it very well. Um, Veronica, please don't. <laughs> but like, everybody's looking nice. Everybody's looking real cute, except the parents. Like, everybody's looking, looking pretty nice. And so, are they, are these two still arguing? Yes. She's arguing. She's like, what did you expect me to do, Scott? And he's like, I don't know, tell me about my own child. And she's like, I, you hate children. And so, they're arguing. In front of their daughter. Let me just get this plum bell out of the way. So they're arguing, and Zoe feels very attacked, and although I kind of do blame her, it's really sad. Because it's like, she, what was she supposed to do, Scott? It's like, she didn't know what to do. And so, yeah, this has been zoe's episode it's probably going to be the second longest because i think the finale is going to be pretty long but that's it for now zoe has been called out she has told the truth her drama has been resolved except for her romantic tension with scott bettencourt but like we still have a whole another episode for scott and so that's gonna be all for now so i'll see you guys next time bye